When we had last left, Team Bald, they were still inside of their mysterious captor's super dungeon where they uncovered more nasty golems, more little goblins screaming around, and weird machines, including those that held pickled people, like a dead guy who wasn't really dead but wasn't really alive, and a powerful battery power cell that they use to power up more jars and talk to more creatures suspended between life and death. Now it was time to perhaps use the mysterious key or something to activate Sewage Golem and have it go about maybe opening more of the area. This is Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition. Welcome back. There we go. Let's do a little quick save just in case. And, you know what, let's go back into this room back here before I forget about All it. Alright then. Alright, let's, let's backtrack there. I am quite worried about resting again while we're in here. Because we had that little brief reaction. Oh. The pool churns and swirls. Strange lights dance within. As you stare at the pool, you catch a glimpse of a cityscape. Oh, it's probably Baldur's fucking gate! For a brief moment, with absolute clarity, you watch as the city changes. Ages pass, and the inhabitants drop their primitive tools and ways. Discoveries are made, and the minds of the people change and grow, every day grasping a new fact or invention. The image slips away until you see only a pool. Well, that's pretty weird. <laughs> okay, that doesn't seem too normal. Oh, there's another pool I can look into and reflect upon. As you peer into the pool, a void opens and icy tendrils pull at your awareness, demanding that you submit. In horror, you look away and the tendrils recede. The pool is calm. Oh my gosh. Right, and we read about the crystal. How about this pool? There's a lot more descriptive hootenannies. Oh, we can't even look at that one. Oh, there we go. The pool churns and swirls. Strange lights dance within. For a brief tantalizing moment, the pool clears. The pool clears. You watch and wonder as a world is born. In fire and molten rock, lands rise and fall gaseous liquid snake and pour and time passes. Eventually seas are formed and a spark of life appears. The first organism is created and plant life begins its slow inevitable blanketing of this new world. Holy shit! There's a lot of shit going on here. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's uh... Kind of ties in pretty well to our recent read. What? Let's interact with whatever this is. We are too far away. This is a switch of some kind. Perhaps it will stop this lightning contraption from conjuring any more of these annoying little methods. The lightning machine stops once you've flicked the switch. Okay. It still buzzes with an electrical energy, though. Alright, well. We do have access now to an unlimited Mephit machine, <laughs> it seems. Okay. Yes. Let's head on back over here. And we got two grand, as far as XP is concerned. What is this? Oh, it's another little hallway Great with gibberlings fun. inside. <laughs> right, you point. Here, let's I have Mince go, go melee the mode. Go Get for the eyes. Oh my gosh, they got they got him to re-record it. Whoa, who is this? It's the genie again, well. the djinn. You have come through after all, Minsk. Here, then, is the advice that I offer. Seek out Rialev. He has been waiting for one such as you. What? This creature knows Minsk? Offer him the release that he craves, and you shall find that the focus of your journey shall soon become apparent. Farewell. Okay. Wasn't that the name of the little 
like pickle guy. With vengeance. Huh? It's very curious that that was from Minsk. Can we open this? No. Is it super magic locked or can we pick it? Yeah, it's magic locked. Alright. This will be simple. Well, it's a good thing we headed back here. Anything else we potentially missed in this section? Don't think so. Alright. Let's see. And the sewage golem that we can probably interact with is in this circular room, I think. There we are. May as well get a little bit of healing going on. Oh, no, we, we cannot. Yeah, we straight up cannot. Yep. <laughs> okay, I think we've already automatically healed. Okay, sewage golem. No time at all. Master, is it you? You have given me no eyes. I cannot see you. Uh, yeah, have you been performing any services for me? I've cleaned the sewage chambers and fed your guardian. Okay, do it again. I, I wish it. Open the doors and perform your duties. Wait, is that all you can do? Oh yeah, okay. Open the doors and begin your work. You have not activated my movement functions. You must use the activation stone. I'm not actually your master. Who is he? Oh, oh, oh yes, here is the stone. I bow before your will, master. Oh. Okay. Yeah, see, that was real love. Oh, shit. Oh, get, get the golem to... Okay, with the activation stone in my possession, the sewage golem has agreed to go about its duties, among which is the opening of the magically sealed doors in this level of the dungeon. Oh, all of them? Oh, God, look at them go. Will they close? Oh shit, I can't save. Okay. Well, should we look down this hallway? It's still locked. Oh no, wait, no, it's open now. Oh shit, and... Oh, yug. Fuck it up! It looks gross, but it probably dies the same as every fucking other freaky dude. There we go. Obliterated. Holy shit. I crit it. Big time. Okay, well, lovely. Oh god, I'm taking some sort of poison damage. Okay. Don't we have remove poison or slow poison or whatever on someone? Yeah, there we go. Let's get that sorted out. Great. I don't I don't think it worked. What? I don't think it took. Yeah, diseased and slowed. Oh shit. Alright then. Well that's unfortunate. How long does disease last for? Good lord, yeah, it's really slowed me down. Okay, it just wore off. Jeez, it was a very quick disease. Okay, so now we're in here. There is Wand of Frost Key. Okay. What'll that do? A strange key that feels cold to the touch. Okay. Oh, wow, there's a whole bunch of treasure in here. And more weirdly groaning creatures in the distance somewhere. Can I inspect any of this stuff? No. Okay. Does Imowen need to pick into anything? Good yes. To go. How about disarm anything? There's another big trunk. Okay, we're good. 
Let's do a quick save in case we just missed the trap. Oh, a fun hat. Oh yeah, look, there's a trap. Okay. There we go, get that picked. Great. Okay, let's pass the hat over to Imwin to ID. I will hold on to these lesser... whatchamacallums? Shahira, you take that. Great. And Imowen, you take Clairvoyance. Empowers the wizard to see in her mind the geographical features and buildings of the region she is currently exploring. Extends to a great range, but cannot reveal creatures or their movements. Eh, failed to write it. What can you do? The Eyes of Truth. Helm of Infravision. Being a scavenger of a sort, Babette Maelstrom had this helm created to aid her in her dungeon excursions. She would later attribute her gathered wealth solely to its power, though likely it was much her keen eyes as anything. And it gives you infravision. Okay. I think, as a half-orc, don't I implicitly have infravision, though? Or am I mistaken? Abilities. Skills. Combat stats. I do not know. <laughs> I mean, alright, let's look at someone who definitely has infravision. Where does it show up at? You're a half-elf. Huh. Oh yeah, biography should be updated. My bad, I completely forgot. We should read the uh, biographies for our followers. We can uh, supplant uh, some of our book reading with biography reading. Yeah, where is uh, where's Infravision show up? Hmm. I do have Infravision, right? I'm pretty sure I do. Huh. Get on with it. Okay, well. Uh, hmm. I guess we'll just give it to Minsk. There we are. And I'll hold the rest. The other one. Good. What a cool hat. Oh, also we should move these items to, I guess, me. Get those potions stacked up. Yes. Okay, how about in here? More potions. Vocalize. Okay, what does that do? The recipient of this spell can cast spells with a verbal component without having to make any noise. Effectively, this spell cancels the effects of silence and makes the recipient immune to it for the spell's duration. Spell has no effect on other noises or speech. It simply removes the spell's verbal component. Gotcha. Okay. Hey, we got that one. Very well. Good. How about this. Oil of speed. Splint mail. Use an upgrade from Minsk. Let's do some of that. We'll drop the old shit on the ground, right? Yeah, no one needs it. We should probably drop... Well, I don't know about dropping the mace. Right. We can equip it. Because he is skilled with maces. To be clear. I'll actually hold on to the bastard sword myself. We don't need the quarter staff anymore. We'll hold on to these three just in case we'll ditch the leather armor. Okay. And let's hold on to that. Good. Okay. And we know where this links up to. Oh, what the fuck is that noise? But there is another magic door, yeah, right here. But that one seems to not be tied to our friend. Oh, it's this room. Right, the, sh the sewage golem probably doesn't have the item to open that shit. We're probably meant to find it in here Just or something. Just as I would have thought. There we what? go. More gobos. Let's take care of this fucking shit. 
Oh, Jahira is in sling mode. Okay. There we are. Need some money. So far, I'm loving the fact that there are zero ground-based booby traps so far. Arrow biting. There we go. Get on with this. Will be too darn creepy. I really want out of here. Let's pop this door. Oh, look, Emwyn, this isn't so creepy. You suddenly have a sense of imminent danger. Something here is not what it seems. Uh oh. <laughs> well, I completely read that situation incorrectly. <laughs> All right. Well, what is not right here? Is there? I mean, it is very friendly looking, and that's probably what's not right. It's all like an illusion or something. Oh, there was a booby trap right before us on the, upon the floor. All right, all right. Let's give it a pick. Good. Another booby trap on the book shelf or whatever. Okay. Everything else seems okay. Yeah, Emowyn hasn't detected anything. Oh, there we go. We will leave no crevice untouched. Let's do another quick save. No time at all. Oh, an amulet. It looks like the old amulet of articulation. Maybe it is. The amplifier. Amulet of Meta Spell Influence. The Amplifier, known for its ability to enhance spellcasting. The Amulet of Metaspell Influence is highly sought after by magic practitioners. It was created by Elairdrin Melwith, who resided in the Star Mountains. His reasons for fabricating such an item stemmed from his womanizing habits, and to this extent, the Amplifier served his purpose well. It was later taken from him by a mage with a more destructive intent but records detailing the captive the the change of hands very wildly okay one extra second level spell good okay we ought to bind one right what should we use huh i don't know how about another acid arrow why not Okay. Let's check more of the All shelves. Right. We already looked on this one. Huh? Yeah. Quick save just in case. Good. Over here. Ooh! Air elemental statue. Okay. That might be what we need. This statuette depicts a swirling form of an air elemental. Okay. Burning hands. A lightning wand key. See if we can pass these things off to Emoin. Oh, whoops. All right. When the wizard casts a spell, a jet of searing flame shoots from her fingertips. The wizard's hands must be held so as to send forth a fan-like sheet of flames. Her thumbs must touch each other and the fingers must be spread. Wow, it's very specific, <laughs> right? <laughs> the burning hands send out flame jets of five feet a five foot length in a horizontal arc of about 120 degrees in front of the wizard any creature in the area of the flame suffers 1d3 points of damage plus two points for each level of the caster to a maximum of 1d3 plus 20 points of fire damage wow yeah so it scales up pretty pretty wildly okay right it wow we succeeded okay let's drop the spear you don't need that thing do we Okay. Good. Helm of Balderon? Whoa! What's this doing here? Yeah. Isn't Didn't we get this last time in uh, the expansion? Or whatever it was, where you go to Balderon's island? Helm of Balderon. The fabled Helm of Balderon. Legendary founder of Baldur's Gate has long been rumored to wield powerful, protective magic. The exact nature of this magic, however, has not yet been determined. 
extra Thacko, extra AC, extra th saving throws, plus 5 HP, protects against crits. Hell yes, I'm wearing it. And that's just a generic helmet. So I'm dumping it. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Let's make sure I'm actually wielding a good weapon for myself. Yeah. There we are. Yes. Would that not have shown up there if we hadn't collected it last time? In Baldur's Gate 1? No, I don't think so, right? It... Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 don't have that degree of reactivity, do they? It's mostly just your character progress. Oh, gobbos. Go. Let's see, can M1 launch any cool shit back there, maybe? No, not really. Oh, another one of these portal shits. Okay. Oh, very well. What do you want? Let's see. How's Imowen's ammo situation looking? Not terrible. Let's get like a stack or two extra. Just in case. Yeah. The encumbrance. Eh, it's kind of bad, actually. Well, arrows don't have any weight, do they? Yeah, look at that. Oh, seven. Seven. Okay, I thought, I thought it was fucking 71. Alright. That's fine. What? Yes? Let's see here. Got a whole bunch of these little vases and stuff. Armor. Got some ammo again. Pass it over to Jahira. Great. And armor. Just a regular fucking scroll. Okay. How about this Just face? As I would have thought. Fireball. Pass it over to M1 again. This will be simple. Okay. Well, before we interact with this portal, I think we check the other end of the room here. Cuz I don't know if, if we can come back from entering the portal. Oh. Ulim, El Elimi, Kania. Do we know Protect them? Me. Oh, <laughs> what? I'm I'm sorry. Yes, help us, free us. Slow down. Who are you, and what is going on here? I shall neither help nor free you. You must excuse me, ladies. I have no time to speak with you. Who are you, and what is going on here? We are his possessions, his servants, his concubines. Please help us to escape. I shall neither help nor free you. Uh, you must excuse me. How can I help you? How can I help you? If you can escape, you must take our acorns to the queen. Tell her of our plight in this creature's lair. Take them to the fairy queen who lives in the south end of the Windspear Hills. This will be our deliverance from this, this Irenicus in his dungeon. So, I see we have a name for our captor at last. Irenicus, is it? Tell me, Dryads, why this Irenicus would go to such lengths to keep you here. We are supposed to instill emotion, but he is barren inside. I'm not sure what he expects. You can foil his plans for us at least. If you take the acorns to the Fairy Queen, then she can regrow our trees and free us. Oh. I can't just take you all with me and we head out, <laughs> right? You, you guys have to be down here with the trees? I will be happy to help you. Oh, here we go. Why do you not simply leave? You do not seem to be chained or caged as I was. I regret that I cannot help you. Why do you not simply leave? We cannot leave our trees! <laughs> okay. If we are separated from our trees, we will die. All right, how can I help you? Our trees will die too. <laughs> okay, well, I will be happy to help you in that case. Thank you. You must take the acorns and deliver them to the fairy queen in the south end of the Windspear Hills. 
But he has taken the acorns. He knows of our plans. It amuses him. I have the acorns now. He has left our acorns with Ilyik. Ilyik is mean. Then I suppose I shall have to obtain your acorns from this Ilyik fellow. Who is he and where can he be found? I'm afraid I cannot help you. This will take too much time. I believe that I have the acorns you're talking about. Wow, cool reactivity. Let's say it. Oh, you have done a noble thing for us. Please take these acorns to the fairy queen who lives northeast of the human settlement called Trade Meat. That's the name of the settlement? Oh my god, what a horrible name. Trade Meat? We will help you escape. You must use the portals to travel up to the next level of the complex. This is how Irenicus travels. The portals are triggered by a certain key. Oh, we have two keys. He uses her key. He still loves her, you see. He keeps her room just as it was, though well protected. Oh, this must have been the room. We go there sometimes and look at her things. May the forest always open a path for you. So beautiful. I used to dream of dryads and their beautiful trees. Oh. You are welcome among us, girl. Youthful exuberance is music that we have not heard in such a long time. I used to dream, but he doesn't. Your dreams don't work on him anymore, do they? How do you know of this? He has touched you as us, hasn't he? Irenicus search at Jesus, has search, searches for something he cannot find, and he looks within those that have no more idea than he. Irenicus. A name that is synonymous with death and ugliness. I don't know. I feel like I'm more synonymous with death, at least. <laughs> Maybe ugliness, too. Eh, who can say? No. Death sounds different. Ah! He showed me. I spit on his name. I spit on this place. Live as you can where you must, young woman. You will not survive if you give in. We have learned this. I have learned something different. So beautiful you are. I almost can't see you. I just want to go home. Oh, Lila Schnub, when can we go home? Uh-oh. Let's see. In order to free the captive dryads from their imprisonment, I must bring their acorns to the Fairy Queen, who is apparently located in an area called the Windspear Hills. I guess that doesn't place us or anything, does it? At least based on our previous adventuring. No time at all. Anything else in this, like, weird tree cavern? Jeez, it's huge. I wonder how the trees... Well, it's probably magic. <laughs> I was about to say, I wonder how they grow underground in this way. It's probably magic. Who am I kidding? Okay. Anything else? No. What is this room? Maybe this is the... The room of, uh... I don't know, Irenicus's lover. Oh! As you step through the doorway, an alarm sounds and then abruptly stops. Ah! What is this place? It's... it's beautiful. Oh... There is simply no way that this space belongs to the same person that owns those horrible glass containers. It is unlikely that our captor would rent out space. It must be his. Perhaps it is simply a side of him we have not seen. It must be his. No, it can't be. Not the person I know. This... this bed, that table, I know of them. He would... he would speak of them while... while he... It's for a lost love, kept in perfect condition. She... she despises him. This is his monument to her. He spoke of all of this, but this... but his voice was cold. No emotion at all. Not even remembered. He spoke of these things, even while he cut. He cut. And the spells that wove through my brain. Cold, ugly things. He cannot hurt you now. You are among friends. Calm down, you'll attract attention to us. <laughs> well, I feel like the alarm and whatever got shot at us will uh, attract attention. You are among friends. It still hurts. 
His sick fingers are still in my head, doing whatever it was he started. I see blood and death beyond my eyes. Irenicus. This room. If he could care for anything, he would care for this room. Above the lives of all of us. It makes me... It makes me sick. I feel... I feel so much hate. I would burn this place, but it is nothing. Even as it means so much, it is nothing. Let's do what we must and get out of this place. It is making me sick. Ah! Ooh. Swords, not words. Okay. Can we give him some little bit of slow poison there? Ah! Thank goodness. Oh, more booby traps. Okay. No problem at all. All right, my guess, Irenicus's significant other is dead, right? Hence all of the experiments on keeping things alive, even though they are dead. Hence interest in a uh, ball spawn, right? Checks out, I think. Wow, everything is fucked. Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh, lesser clay golem. The chambers of the master's wife have been entered. All must be destroyed. Okay. Oh, here they come. Okay. I'm going berserker's mode. Good. Huh, sure. Let's see here. You can count on me. Let's pick into all these. This, however, does not have anything that needs disarming. Weirdly enough. Huh. Okay. Anything that we can inspect in this little place? No. Alright, let's check the trunk. Yes. Portal key! Okay. Which is odd. What are the other things for, then? An intricate key, presumably once owned by the lover of your captor. Okay. A pommel jewel. Healing. Let's have Emily pick then? those items up and detect them. There we go. Pommel jewel. This brilliant gem is of an indeterminate origin. Constantly shifting colors from bright blues and violets to black and even shades of gray. It obviously came from the pommel of a sword. Perhaps a specific one. Pommel Jewel of the Equalizer. This is a part of the Equalizer. A great longsword forged long ago as a tool for balancing the powers of the universe. Also known as the Sword of Neutrality. It did greater damage to the further... It did greater damage the further the target's alignment was from true neutral. Huh. The Equalizer also was last rumored to have been wielded by the elven hero Elaine, Greenleaf, who was lost during a voyage to the Underdark. Other rumors have, however, proposed that the, bra the blade's pommel gem was stolen by an escaped slave who returned to the surface world. Okay. Huh. I guess we can eventually piece this thing together. Bracers. Of defense AC8. Okay. Sure. Let's get these equipped, I guess. Will it actually have an impact on us? No. There's no change. Okay, well, fair enough. Oh, fuck! Oh, the Berserk yeah, stayed in. Find a home here if it properly cleansed and balanced. Very well. Okay, Monster Summoning 1. Potion of Master Thievery. We'll pass that potion over to Emowyn. And the Scroll 2. There we go. Let's see, how about this table? Dire Charm. This spell works in the, sa the exact same manner as Charm Person, with one difference. There is no saving throw bonus. Dire Charm affects any single person it is cast upon. The term person includes any bipedal human, demi-human, 
or humanoid of man size or smaller, such as brownies? Dryads, dwarves, elves, gnolls, gnomes, goblins, half-elves, halflings, half-orcs, hobo-goblins, humans, kobolds, lizardmen, nixies, orcs, pixies, sprites, troglodytes, and others. Thus, a 10th level fighter could be charmed, but an ogre could not. The person is allowed a saving throw versus a spell to negate the effect. Holy shit, there's a bunch about it. Brownies at first sounds funny and innocuous. Like, <laughs> weird brownies. Those are for eating, right? But then when you consider that this is referring to a type of humanoid, then it's a little fucked up, <laughs> right? It sounds a little fucked up then. If the spell's recipient fails her saving throw, she regards the caster as a trusted friend and ally to be heeded and protected. The caster may give her orders, and the charmed individual will carry them out as quickly as possible. If the caster harms or attempts to harm the charmed person by some overt action, or if a dispel magic spell is cast upon the charmed person, the dire charm spell is broken. If two or more charms simultaneously affect the creature, the most recent charm takes precedence. Note that the subject has full memory of the events that took place while she was charmed. Ugh. Also note that you cannot have a charmed creature leave the area where she is charmed. Yeah, that checks out that this would be a spell here. Eh, we successfully wrote it. Okay. Let's see, I actually do want that. That's, that's pretty useful in combat, it sounds. There we are. Dire Charm. Let's get rid of Monster Summoning and memorize that. Okay. And one more. Oh, nope. We already checked it. My bad. This okay. Will be That's everything. Hmm. So... We now have access to these portals. I think we have the statue that will open up the, like, door back here, right? We don't yet know where the door out is, however, which it may well just be behind these portals. I think we go back to this room and open this door because, like I said before, when it comes to the portals, I don't know if we're going to be able to make a return trip. Whereas, at least with this door, it's likely that we will be able to go back through the door again if we need to. Alright. It would be nice if there were an increased speed situation here, you know? There we are. Part of me is surprised that they didn't implement something between this and Baldur's Gate 1. Anything to inspect here? Just that trunk and all that that we've already looked at, I believe. Okay. Oh, this goes further to another level. Okay. What Shit. Maybe we should go through the portal then. Hmm. Yeah, I think maybe we ought to. Because these, lightning and frost, I don't know, they seem to indicate like, maybe we'll go to some sort of elemental area, or plane, or whatever. And maybe, maybe we will have a way back. Whereas, this being like stairs or whatever, maybe that's exiting the dungeon overall. Or getting closer to the exit. Okay. I don't think there's any way to discern which portal is which, though, until we actually go through it. Okay. There we go. So, there is oh. sanity in all this madness. If you are not in league with the evil that dwells in this unholy place, Yoshimo begs your assistance. Okay, so someone named Yoshima was just talking to us. <laughs> I immediately tapped spacebar to pause time, but uh, it's conversation. We just advanced it. 
a fair line easily used by servants of the wizard themselves. We have been imprisoned and worse, and given many reasons to distrust strangers we encounter. I share your sentiments. I have seen much here that has disturbed me. I myself am a warrior with no evil intentions. Please, I would welcome any assistance you might offer. Then assistance you shall get, Yoshimo. What ails you, friend? I don't believe you. Stay back if you wish to live. How did you come to be here? How'd you come to be here? It is actually quite, uh, embarrassing. My profession does not leave itself open to those who are not wary, yet somehow, I was caught unaware. I came to Athkotla year- are we in Athkotla? I came to Athkotla years ago, from Keratur, to seek my fortune. At some point, I went to bed in my room at the Copper Coronet, and I awoke in a strange room with a very sore head. I do not know how long I was there before waking. Do you think that we are in Athkotla? How do I know that you aren't some sort of fiend here to lure me into a trap? Do you think we are here in Athkotla? Well, you're probably a potential follower who's going to take up another slot given the portrait, right? Do you think that we are in Athkotla? I am unsure. I may have been drugged when I was brought here. I may have been unconscious. Either way, I do not know how long. If it was the former, this place could be anywhere. If it was the latter, then I don't imagine that I could have traveled very far without noticing. Then you too know the hardship of being set into a maze like a helpless hamster! We are comrades in peril! Boo asks what you propose we do next time, little man. I do not know a way to escape this place. Perhaps we could search for this exit together. I would welcome another companion, but I have a few questions first. I do not think it would be wise. I'll be better off navigating this place without you. I would be pleased to have you join me. I would welcome another companion, but I have questions for first. What do you need to know? I'm not sure if I should trust you. I will take my leave of you now. How did you get here? What aid do you need? How did you get here? Oh, it's looping. Okay, fair enough. Uh, how do I know that you aren't some kind of fiend here to lure me into a trap? I am no fiend. I am Yoshimo. You know, Yoshimo? Sorry, I've never heard of you. The Yoshimo feared by all? In that case, how did you come to be here? Is this like a well-known lore character in like greater Forgotten Realms lore or whatever? Sorry, I've never heard of you. You must be new to Om. Ah, maybe we're in Om for real. Or is Athkotla a city in Om? Right? Jeez, I guess we're just here, right? I thought maybe we would travel there or something, but I guess we're just here. Shadows of Om. You must be new to Om, or at least Athkotla. Askatla? That's the city of coin, right? A merchant city in Om? We come from the Sword Coast, a ways to the north. Why do you think we're in Askatla? I'm unsure. I may have been drugged when I was brought here. I may have been unconscious. Oh, wait. We've, we've read this. Okay. Let's see. Questions first. What aid do you need? Okay, yeah... I do not know a way to escape this place. Perhaps we could search for this exit together. I, I would be pleased to have you join me. I shall be happy to lend my blade to your cause. There are two things that I have discovered about this place that may help us escape. In the next chamber beyond the one in which we stand, four portals lie. Each of these portals releases a little cackling fiend which tries to kill me. These little beasties keep coming in through the portals. Perhaps if the portals are destroyed, one could defeat the beasts that have already come through. Shortly beyond that chamber, there is a hallway that contains several wands mounted in pedestals. They all, they blast all that walk before them. I've noticed that each wand is locked into the pedestal and could be removed if one had the proper key. Ah, I know not where these keys are. Let us begin. Okay. And you have a level up. I am ready, I think. Okay. 
What's your whole fucking deal? Let's see. You're a male human bounty hunter. True neutral. Okay. Hmm. Proficient with katanas, daggers, short bows. You prefer single weapon style. Despite the fact that you definitely have more than one weapon in your portrait. I guess it's just an offhand or whatever, right? Let's see. Class. We'll read the biography later. Or maybe maybe we'll start with your biography, right? Let's see. Bounty hunter. This is a hunter of men, skilled in tracking quarry and bringing them back alive, whether for lawful authorities or underworld masters. Bounty hunters are specially trained at their task and make fearsome opponents. They have honed their trap-making abilities well beyond that of the average thief. Oh, is this like a specialization or whatever for thief? Okay, yeah, chances... Yeah, bonuses when setting traps. May use the set special snare ability once per day, in addition to the normal thief's set snare. Gains one use at level one and an additional use every five levels thereafter. Set special snare. Set a trap in the chosen location when no hostile creatures are in sight. Traps grow more powerful with the bounty hunter's level and can only be triggered by enemies. Oh. That's very useful. Okay. Hmm. Does damage. Slows the enemy. Oh, 11th level. Deals damage. Holds the enemy for 5 rounds. And then 16th level. Erects an Autoluke's resilient sphere around the target for 7 rounds. Which, that's the, like, um, the sort of divine intervention spell, right? That completely removes you from combat for its duration. And then 21st level mazes the target. What does that even mean? Disadvantages may only distribute 20 skill points per level among thieving skills. Okay. Sure. You also have a level. Let's see, what weapons do you have currently? Oh, your katana. Yoshimo's katana. This blade, although only lightly enchanted, has achieved a semblance of awareness, enough so that it um, uh, so that it allows only the thief known as Yoshimo to wield it. Any other than he cannot use this flawless katana in battle. Okay. Sure. Fair enough. Can we get you a helmet? No, because you're a thief. Okay. Do I have any other items I can or should give you? I don't think so. Huh. All right. Well, fair enough. Anything else over here in this section? Do you think the other portal will have another potential companion? Let's see. Let's check this treasure chest and see if we can go back through. Hold person. There we go. A very good one, if we can pull it off. Let's see. This spell holds 1d4 humans, demi-humans, or humanoid creatures rigidly immobile and in place for five or more rounds. The hold person spell affects any bipedal human, demi-human, or humanoid of man size or smaller, including yada yada. Thus, a 10th level fighter could be held while an ogre could not. Okay. Held creatures cannot move or speak, but they remain aware of events around them and can use abilities not requiring motion or speech. Being held does not prevent the worsening of the subject's condition due to wounds, disease, or poison. Okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that would have been a good one to have. All right, we could save Scummit, but I won't. Let's see, how's the map look? Holy shit, it's enormous. Or, enormous. It's enormous. The portal violently teleports you to another level of the dungeon. 
you have to take a few moments to catch your breath upon arrival. Yeah, what if we backtrack here to this other portal? Will we get another follower? Will we, like, be able to kit out our entire group here? All right, then. Yeah, let's try and do that real quick before we call the video. Because it would be nice to have, like, a full slew of folks, and then in between videos I can level everybody up and junk like that. I don't know how much I, like, thinking long term here, I don't know that I'll have Yoshimo in our group for terribly long because I'm not really big on setting traps unless we absolutely have to. Which it may be, like, a great idea, you know? It may be very worthwhile to do that. But I kind of dislike <laughs> doing it from a, a gameplay perspective. Okay, let's go in here. Oh, we're too far away. There we go. Oh, are we back in the same place? Yes. What? Huh. Very well. Okay, so it's two different portals to the same exact area. Weird. Okay, well let's go back on through. Just as I would have thought. It. There we are. Cause I'm based on his description of everything. This it sounds like the portal areas are the way out. Because there's all of these extra booby traps that require these wand keys. And it makes sense to me that you would adventure around, get all the wand keys, use them to disarm the, like, turrets, it sounds like. And then make your way out. And obviously you don't need to disarm them. You could just, like, power through it or use magic or something to navigate through. But regardless, it definitely feels like that's the way out. So I'm inclined to go down into this other lower level and take a peek at what may be here. Okay. Good. And then let's let's read at least two biographies. I say two because we already had a look at this dude's skilled in avoidance. And it's fairly short, I believe. Here, does... Yeah, opening up the menus and stuff does pause the game this time around. Very good. Alright, biography. When asked about his past, Yoshimo seems disheartened that you are not already acquainted with his reputation. By his own account, he is apparently well known among people in the know, both as a daring rogue and a dashing man about town. While the story sounds impressive, he seems ungainly for such exploits, possibly a bit more hapless than debonair. He wears it well, however, and perhaps even capitalize on, capitalizes on it. He seems to know that his kind of good-natured humor is well appreciated by most everyone he meets. Oh, I see. And he has decent charisma. Which would check out for being such a, like... I don't know. <laughs> so, someone who is, is braggadacious or whatever, but that isn't really what they claim to be. Okay. Decent dexterity. How does he check up against Imowen? Since they're both, like, different types of thieves. Okay. Yeah, Imowen is better in almost all regards. Except for Constitution and Dex, where they're equals. And Strength, where Imowen really falls short. But also, of course, Imowen has high int because of the... You know, it, it, it's, it makes sense to have that in a, a mage dual class situation. Okay, sure. Well, speaking of Imowen, let's read the biography here. Imowen chuckles when you ask her about her past, assuming you are just trying to keep her mind on happier times and places. She indulges you, and certainly does cheer up when speaking of how you spent your muse together in Candle Keep. 
She arrived there, the same as you, in the company of your foster father, Garion. But despite this similarity, she grew up much more carefree than you did. Indeed, her light-hearted outlook has, kept, has long kept her immune to the hardships of the world, though the dark confines and horrors of your current location have definitely taken their toll. Oh, this almost reads as if... Does the biography continue to up update as we play the game? And if it does, how will we know when to check? Right, because I do enjoy reading the biography, because it, it in here, it very much um, frames it as like, you're asking this character about what's up, you know? Okay. Yeah, very interesting and cool. Uh, like I said, in between videos, we'll get him a level up here. We'll probably just end up uh, doing some thief skill point investments in various skills. I guess we'll favor setting traps and all of that, because Imwin's kind of already got everything else covered as far as thieving, you know, except for pickpocket, I guess. Right, but the important stuff. All right, and uh, when next we come back, we'll head down into this weird basement area that we need the statue key to pop open, and then we'll check out the portal uh, stuff, because that seems like the main critical path or is this, maybe we'll find another follower down here in this basement or wherever this goes to, right? Maybe we'll find that. Because uh, I figure we'll have a full crew by the time we leave. And if I, if I had to guess, it will be someone evil, right? <laughs> if I had to guess, it will be somebody who is evil. Just to sort of balance all this out. As for, Well, not even balance it out, right? But... We're pretty loaded with good characters who we know from the first game. And this dude is true neutral. So I'm guessing whoever we find next will be some degree of evil. Assuming we even find someone else in here, right? Anyway, until next time, please take care of each other.